सदाशिवसंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि थर्ड चैप्टर पेज 96 वर्स 6 इंट्रोडक्शन चोदय शरीरेन्द्रियमनोबुद्धिषु अनात्म आत्म निसंधन मिथ्याज्ञान तबंधन हि आत्मनो अनेकानर्थ संबंध तस्वय व्यतिरेकाभ्यामेवस्तवाषय तारी तत्वस्यादिवाक्यम प्राप्त तस्वाक्य महिमा योयमात्मात्म विभाग तराकरणा इदमुच्य टू एटेन सेलफ नॉलेज इन वेदांत द टू स्टेप्स आर ब्रॉडली गिवेन फस्ट स्टेप इज आत्म अनात्म विवेक द डिस्क्रिमिनेटिव नॉलेज बिटवीन द सेल्फ एंड नॉन सेल्फ दिस इज द फस्ट स्टेप अनात्मा द बॉडी माइंड कॉम्प्लेक्स हैपेन्स टू बी मिथ्या वन हैज टू फॉलसीफाई विस्मिथ्या शरीर मन बुद्धि इंद्रिया इनक्लूडिंग द होल वर्ल दर् यूनिवर्स आलो इन दिस फस्ट स्टेप वि अरइव एट आत्मा इज सत्य दट आत्मा हैपन टू बी मै सेलफ साक्षी चैतन्य I am the truth of this universe. This tampada artha jnana. The individual I am atma chaitanyam. Having done this, the seeker has to enter into the second step. That is. I the Atma am identical with Paramatma. I kya gyanam. I the Atma who is Satya ha Sakshi Chaitanyam am identical with Paramatma. There is no division. There is no separation really. This is called I kya gyanam. it can be attained through mahavakya vichara process so atma anatma viveka process step number 1 jeevatma paramatma aikya gnanam through mahavakya is step number 2 but these steps are not accepted by the sankhya philosopher jeevatma paramatma aikyam is the conclusion parama siddhantaha the central theme of advaita vedanta but uh, the dvaita philosopher sankhya philosopher do not accept 
this these two steps he takes only one step is sufficient mahavakya vichara is not required second step is not required jeevatma paramatma aikyam is not required what is required according to sankhya philosopher sankhya philosopher you have to remember dvaita sankhya and advaita sankhya there are two types of sankhya in uddhava gita class i introduced in the 19th chapter last class kapila bhagavan has given the sankhya philosophy that is advaita sankhya kapila muni gave dvaita darshana roopa sankhya duality dvaitam therefore this must be very clear for a listener of sankhya philosophy otherwise kapila bhagavan in bhagavata you will take this advaita darshanam how he can talk this way na this sankhya philosopher is different okay kapila muni here sankhyaha chodayanti great uh, objection he raises who sankhyaha atra api here means uh, in this uh, niyama vidhi where we said sanyasa ashrama is uh, prescribed and certain sadhanas are given but for gnanam you don't require any vidhi but secondary sadhanas you require vidhis <coughs> that to niyama vidhis having said that he comes to this uh, two steps who advaitin what sankhya says briefly you have to understand who what is sankhya philosophy we know all 24 tatvams from sankhya we have borrowed chaturvimshati tatvani apart from that here you come to know the sankhya philosophy new many more points like for him world is satyam world is nothing but matter prakriti anatma is satyam as real as atma atma is also real anatma body mind complex prakriti is also real for us prakriti body mind complex is not real this is the difference another difference between vedanta and sankhya is for sankhya philosophers there is no paramatma all jeevatmas are called purushas there are many purushas as many bodies so many purushas the jeevas atmas are called purushas since there is no paramatma this jeevatma need not merge with paramatma paramatma hai hi nahi why to merge so this jeevatma called purusha according to sankhya philosopher this purusha that is jeevatma sir many in number each jeevatma is all pervading each jeevatma or each purusha is all pervading sarvagatah so sarvagatah purushah is there he has to disidentify with anatma prakriti that much is sufficient this purusha the jeevatma need not merge with paramatma paramatma is not there so what purusha has to do he should not identify with body mind complex that much is sufficient even this uh, purusha the individual need not falsify the universe 
like in Advaita Vedanta, Sankhya philosopher says, we need not falsify the universe because universe is Satyam. Universe is Satyam Parihyam. Body-mind complex is Satyam Parihyam. Therefore, there is no necessity or requirement of falsification of Anatma, the world, body, mind, family, professions, profession, you need not to falsify. And you need not have any Aikyam. Therefore, you don't require Mahavakya. You require only Atma Anatma Viveka. Samsara is because of identification with the body mind complex. According to him, what is samsara? The purusha, I, the individual, identifying with the body mind complex prakriti, that is mithya jnanam. This mithya jnanam, erroneous knowledge, wrong knowledge is the cause for samsara. Therefore, remove that erroneous knowledge by Atma Anatma Viveka, you can do that. First step itself we can complete. Therefore, Mahavakya becomes redundant. It is not required. That is the essence of this paragraph which I introduced in the last class. Sharira Indriya Mano Buddhishu Anatmasu Atmaiti Nissandhi Bandhanaham Bandhanam Mithya Jnanam Ajnanam Very important. If you understand this only, Suresh Racharya's answer in the sixth verse you can understand. This Sankhya philosopher who is an objectionist, Puro Pakshi, he says falsification of this Sharira, Indriya, sense organs, mind, manas, buddhi, intellect, anatmasu, all these are anatma, prakriti. Anatmasu, atma iti, there is atma iti bhavana, I am the body, I am the mind, I am the sense organs, I am the intellect. So, lot of identification with Anātmā is there nissandhi bandhanam, very difficult to negate. It is well rooted, bādhaka pratyaya rahitam. You cannot bring the thought of mithyātvam in this, it is not required because it is satyam. As they said, that is difficult also. That uh, doesn't have bādha kattvam. That means you need not negate, you need not falsify. Then what you have to falsify, remove? Mithya jnānam ajnānam. Mithya jnānam means uh, false knowledge. False knowledge or erroneous perception. I am the body-mind complex. That is uh, born out of Ajnanam. Purusha Ajnanam, that is I am Sakshi Chaitanyam Atma Ajnanam is there for this person. Therefore, Mithya Ajnanam, Mithya Ajnanam means erroneous perception, wrong knowledge. That wrong knowledge or wrong perception or erroneous perception is called Mithya Ajnanam. It is called Ajnanam. That alone is called Ajnanam. Full stop. Tat tan nibandhanena. Nibandhanena. Hi atma, atmanaha anekanartha sambandhaha. Sambandhaha full stop. Because of this identification, tannivandhanaha means uh, anātma sambandha. The more you have that uh, identification with body-mind complex, like uh, in marriage, you know, marriage you want to tie the knot in the girl's uh, 
neck. This person is related to so many members of that family and that girl is related to so many members of this family and a lot of relations. So that is called Sambandha like. So like that this Purusha gets Sambandha association with that Prakriti body mind complex. That is what Anatma. Anatmanaha with Anatma the body mind complex. That, that identification with Anatma leads to Anek Anartha Sambandha. Anek Anartha, lot of problems it causes. What are the problems? Shadur Mayaha, bodily problems like old age, disease, death, and Pranamaya Kosha level, hunger and thirst, and Manomaya level, Raga, Dvesha. Shoka, all these are Shadurmaya, ripples like waves like they are raising Anartha Sambandha. Full stop. Tasya cha Anvaya Vitarekam. That uh, problems Anartha you can remove by, uh, you can eliminate by Anvaya Vitareka, co-presence and co-absence. What are all uh, present in Purusha? Purusha Tattvam and uh, Prakriti Tattvam, body, mind, complex. You just discriminate, separate them. Do Viveka, Anvaya Vitareka Abhyam, Eva. These are all the words of Sankhya philosopher, remember. Anvaya Vitreka Pyam Eva. Through Anvaya Vitreka only you can do. Nirastatvatu Nivandhana. Nirastatvatu Nirvishayam. Nirvishayam Tattva Masyadi Vakyam Praptam. That is his contention. What he want to do? Tattva Masyadi Vakyam Nirastam. It is Nirvishayam. Mahavakya Tattvamasi doesn't have any role here. Nirastatvat, it is um, unnecessary, not required, it is not accepted. There is no necessity of Tattvamasi Mahavakyam. Iti praptam, it has become redundant. Tasmat, therefore, Vakyasya, that means Mahavakyasya, cha eshaha mahima. With this Mahavakya, a role is over. Mahavakya, tvampada artha jnanam is sufficient, tatpada jnanam is not required. Tatpada is not there for him. Therefore, tvampada enough for us, mahima. Mahavakya function is over with this, ridiculing the Mahavakya. This is the Mahima of Mahavakya, he says. Yaha ayam atma atmanaha anatmanohu. Atma anatmanohu. Yaha ayam atma anatmanohu is there. Yaha ayam means this Purusha, the individual atma. Anatmanaha, the Prakriti, Vibhagaha iti. What he has to do? Not Mahavakya. Sankhya philosopher says he need not go for Mahavakya. Aikyam is not required. Therefore, what he has to do? Vibhagaha eva he has to do. Separation. Separation of what and what? Separation of Atma, the Purusha and Prakriti, the Anatma. Both have to be separated with Anvaya Vitareka. The Purusha is um, Sarvagataha. That uh, Purusha he has to understand. Nirast, uh, atma Anatmanoho Vibhagaha Iti. Tan nirakaranaya, so 
ನೌ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಟು ರೆಫ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ರೆಫ್ಯೂಟ್ ನಿರಾಕರಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ರೆಫ್ಯೂಟ್ ಟು ರಿಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇದಂ ಉಚ್ಚತೆ ದಿ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷೀಸ್ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ನೌ ಸೊ ಫೈನಲಿ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಜ್ಞಾನ ರಾಂಗ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪುರುಷ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಭೇದ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಹಿ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಜ್ಞಾನ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಶರೀರ ಭಾವನ ಆತ್ಮ ಇತಿ ಭಾವನ ಮನ ಆತ್ಮ ಇತಿ ಭಾವನ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಫಿಲಾಸಫರ್ ಸೇಸ್ ನೌ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದ ಡ್ಯುಯಾಲಿಟಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ಯುಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪುರುಷಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸತ್ಯಂ therefore duality continues in this shloka he is going to say as long as duality is there you cannot be free from unhappiness let me read this shloka first bheda samvididam jnanam bheda bhavascha sakshini ಈಚ್ ಪುರುಷ ಈ ಸರ್ವಗತ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಓ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಫಿಲಾಸಫರ್ ಇಫ್ ಈಚ್ ಪುರುಷ ಈಸ್ ಸರ್ವಗತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಪುರುಷ ಈಸ್ ಸತ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸತ್ಯ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸತ್ಯ ವೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದ್ವಿತೀಯಾದ್ವೈ ಭಯಂ ಭವತಿ ದೇಶ ಪರಿಚ್ಛೇದ ಕಾಲ ಪರಿಚ್ಛೇದ ವಸ್ತು ಪರಿಚ್ಛೇದ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಪರಿಚ್ಛೇದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವೈಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ವೈಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವೈಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯುಯಾಲಿಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಯುವರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ದ್ವೈತ ದರ್ಶನಂ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ವೈತಂ ಯು ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ನೇಹ ನಾನಾಸ್ತಿ ಕಿಂಚನ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಯು ಫರ್ಗಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯೂ ನ ಭೂಮಿರಾಪೋ ನ ಚ ವನ್ನಿರಸ್ತಿ ನ ಚ ನಿಲೋಮೆಸ್ತಿ ನ ಚಾಂಬರಂಚ ರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಏರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಫೈರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಘ್ನಾತಾರಂ ಅರೇ ಕೇನ ವಿಜಾನೀಯಾತ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈಮೈದಂ ಇದು ಪುರಸ್ತಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣತ ಉತ್ತರತ ಆಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವೇರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಎಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಈ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸತ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಹೌ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ದೇರ್ limiting yourself you are a dasa ishwara is a swami again duality is there that is why many people are afraid of ishwara bhagavan instead of bhakti they have bhayam bhaya bhakti na people used to uh, use these words bhaya bhakti bhaya bhakti na bhayam is there rather than bhakti more bhayam is more with regard to ishwara for people so therefore body mind sense organs intellect all are the complaints will galore continues therefore everybody is working for what 
anatma body mind complex hair care skin care nail care tooth care what not every care 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 all uh, improvement of anatma people are struggling 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 to improve the anatma prakriti because you have given satyatvam to that therefore they cannot be out of the complaints everybody is having complaint on his own body and his own sense organs and his own mind and intellect always complaints therefore struggling to improve that instead of struggling to improve anatma which you cannot improve it looks as though improved it is like a rubex you know you can not bring it uh, same number it is very very difficult it is not possible instead of wasting your time in improving the anatma prakriti body mind complex better to falsify the body mind complex that is our advice to sankhya philosopher all people who are all trying to improve the body mind complex morning to till night so much of care care for everything house family profession profession apart from the body care nail care hair care skin care all this care i care that also we have to include hmm? tooth care uh, all the care family care no and uh, physicians care all these uh, reduce why you are struggling so much day and night 24 into 7 360 days uh, you are struggling my dear understand it is mithya it is uh, having its own defects make use of like a payasam cup a paper cup they give payasam paper cup or donne edo some cup they give container drink payasam and leave the container take the content leave the container body mind complex is a container mithya container why you are holding on to container instead of drinking the atma amrutam i am atma claiming i am atma you are struggling to uh, adjust the anatma unintelligent way therefore look into the shloka now idam gnanam means pura pakshi is atma anatma viveka gnanam what he is suggesting atma anatma viveka gnanam is sufficient that step alone is required mahavakya is not required o oh, sankhya philosopher idam gnanam that which is anatma atma viveka gnanam you are talking is not a liberating gnanam because there is dvaitam it is not a liberating knowledge this viveka discrimination between what and what discrimination bheda vibhaga you can do only between two between two things only you can do discrimination as long as you are doing the discrimination <coughs> viveka discrimination means don't take in negative sense they all are showing a lot of discrimination male and female like that that is not the meaning here discrimination means here vibhaga classification separation dvaita is there <laughs> discrimination you are doing means what atma and anatma that is why puja swami ji always says when you are chanting nirvana shatkam for nididhyasanam mano buddhya hankara chittani naham like that when you are talking in each shloka first three lines are anatma body mind complex navasapta dhatur nava panchakosha navat pani padam na chopastha payu full anatma so each in the shatkam six shlokas of shankara acharya's nirvana shatkam first three lines of each shloka is about anatma name dvesha ragau name lobha mohau all about anatma only 
body level, mind level, emotional level, intellect level, all are about anātmā. I am not that, I am not that, separating. Then who am I? I am Chidānanda Rūpa Sivoham Shivoham. So third, fourth line you are accepting, you are Sat, Chit, Ānanda. So as long as you chant like this, you are giving reality to the first three lines. I am not that, I am not that, I am not that, we are telling. That is Vibhaga. <laughs> okay. Separating I the Purusha, I am different from Prakriti, first three lines. I hope you all of you know that Nirvana Shatkam. Mano Buddhyankara Chittani Naham. That means you are accepting the Anatma indirectly. And you are telling, I am not that Anatma, I am the Atma, you are telling. Hey, you have to falsify those three lines of Anatma. Instead of falsifying, I am not that, I am not that, and how long you can say, I am not that? Why to say, I am not that? <laughs> so, there is a problem in this prayer, if I don't understand properly. Dayananda Swamiji always hint this. So, you have to understand properly, do Mithyatma Nishayam. This is not the way of doing Nididhyasanam. Na mano buddhi hankara means they are not real, falsify. Otherwise, yeah, it will, Sankhya philosopher says, Bhaga, no, Vibhaga. Anatma, Atma, Vibhaga. First three lines are Anatma. The fourth line is Atma. Therefore, I am not that. I am separate. But we have not falsified. You have to falsify. Mithyatma nischayam. Take out the Satyatvam from that. Take out. Therefore, uh, another Upanishad also says, Brihadaranyaka uh, Upanishad, Yonyam Devatam Upaste Anyosau Anyoham Asmiti Nasa Veda Saha Devanam Pashuhu Upanishad clearly says, Yaha Anya Devanam Upaste Whoever worship the Devatas, other Devas, other Gods, as separate from himself or herself. Anyosa anyoha masmiti. That God is different, I am different. He is Swami, I am Asami. Asami means Dasa. Like that, Saha Devanam Pasuhu. He is an animal to Devatas. Like a donkey carrying lot of burden. No? For, uh, like an animal, he carries uh, Saru to Devatas. Saha Devanam Pasuhu, Saha Krupanaha also is Upanishad says. Therefore, Bheda Samvit Bheda Jnanam. See, Bheda Samvit Idam Jnanam. Idam Jnanam Atman Atma Viveka Jnanam. This Jnanam, what you are telling is Bheda Samvit. It is talking about Purusha Prakriti Jnanam. And it has got division, duality. But Sakshini, in Sakshi there is no Purusha Prakriti division. In Sakshi there is no Purusha Prakriti Bheda. Because I the Sakshi am Satyam, the witnesser, the observer is Satyam. Whatever is observed, Prakriti is Mithya. Vacharambhanam Vikaro Namadheyam. Therefore, Yatra nanyat pashyati nanya shrunoti nanyat vijanati sabhuma. There is nothing else. I cannot see anything other than Brahman. I cannot hear anything other than Brahman. I cannot know anything other than Brahman. Everywhere, everything is Brahman. That is the knowledge you have to do. This is Veda Jnanam. It is a product of avidya karyam only. Atma Anatma Viveka Jnanam also is a Ajnanam only. In Sakshi there is no Veda Abhavaha Sakshini. Etat Avidyayaha Karyam. This Atma Anatma Viveka Jnanam also you are in duality. You are in duality, you are not in reality. Therefore you are in Adhyasa. Avidya yaha karyam. It is a product of avidya agnanam. 
it is a product of agnanam full stop you can put in first line also idam gnanam bheda samvit anmaya full stop sakshini bheda abhavah etat avidyayah karyam that is a product of ignorance avidya means ignorance or mula vidya full stop gnatmana tyajayet vachah tyajayet vachah through mahavakya vachah means mahavakya should come for what to help the student to negate atma anatma duality व्यत्याजयेत मे यू ड्रॉप एलिमिनेट गिव अप रेनाउंस त्याजयेत फॉर वाट टू त्याजयेत टू टू हेल्प द स्टूडेंट टू ड्रॉप दिस भेद बै द स्टूडेंट वच ज्ञात्मा चैतन्य आत्म बोधन ज्ञात्मा मीन्स चैतन्य आत्म Not to supply bodhanena, chaitanya atmana bodhanena, vachaha, anvaya like this, vachaha, tyajayet, gnatmana bodhayet, bodhanena, advaita chaitanya atma bodhanena, महावाक्य द्वारा नेगेट द आत्म अनात्म ड्यूएलिटी यू हेव टू नेगेट सांख्या फिलासफर इज नॉट नेगेटिंग सपरेटिंग ही इज कीपिंग द अनात्मा सपरेटली एज लॉन्ग एज अनात्मा इज देयर बॉडी माइंड कॉम्प्लेक्स गिविंग ट्रबल ओ ट्रबल ट्रबल सम एम बी बी एस एम बी एस मीन्स वाट मेजरबल बोर्डम बर्डन सम स्ट्रगल continues you cannot be free at all therefore instead of saying uh, mano buddhyankara chittani naham you have to say what uh, aham rikshasya reriva kirti prishtam gireriva urdhva pavitro vajini va smrutam asmi dravina gum savarchasam sumedha amruto kshitah iti stri shankor vedanu vachanam taitri upanishad visa ahamannam 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 ahamannado hamannado hamannadah ahagga shloka krida hagga shloka krida hagga shloka krita taitri upanishad i am the eater i am the food i am the bhukta i am that everything i am only nothing else is there really this is the knowledge wonderful knowledge <coughs> with this uh, this shloka is over now next page you can take 96 page number so first i said 96 page but it is in 95 okay now we are in 96 page number verse number 7 um, for 7 there is anubandhukti that introduction i will read first that introduction this is also a puro pakshi another puro pakshi called ekadeshi वेदांत एक देशी कंटिन्युएशन ऑफ दट सांख्या फिलासफर्स व्यू ओनली फर्दर कंटिन्युएशन बट देर इज स्लाइट डिफरेंस फस्ट ई विल रीड दट अनुबंधोक्ति ज्ञात्मना क्या जयेद्वच युपश्रुत्या कशि मिथ्या ज्ञान व्यतिरेकेण आत्मन अनवबोध अभावाक्यन निवर्त्यते अज्ञान हि नाम ज्ञानाभाव तस्वस्तुस्वाभाव्या 
कसत सज्जाए सज्जन्म इष्यते कुतस्तु खलु सौम्य सी कथम असत सज्जात श्रुते अच्छते दिस आर आल वेरी 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 इंपारटेंट नार्मल न्यू इज से वेरी इंपारटेंट बट टूडे आई हेव टू से वेरी 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 इंपारटेंट आफ्टर लिजनिंग ओनली यू अंडर्स्टैंड हाउ इट इज सो इंपारटेंट This is a crux of Vedanta. Very tough to grasp, but we have to attentively listen and focus on the points you can grasp. At one day or other, you have to grasp. There is no other way to come to reality. Okay, this Pura Pakshi is um, uh, Ekadesi Pura Pakshi. What he says. There is no mula vidya. Mitya agnyanam is because of agnyanam. Other than that agnyanam, there is no other second agnyanam. <coughs> In Vedanta, we accept mula vidya, basic ignorance, mula vidya. That is atma agnyan. what agnyanam he is talking here erroneous perception wrong perception mithya agnyanam because of agnyanam atma anatma viveka agnyanam alone is cause for mithya agnyanam mithya agnyanam means taking the body mind complex as one self that is mithya agnyanam this is sankhya philosopher said but he said mithya agnyanam is there that is erroneous perception is there erroneous perception means wrong thought wrong knowledge because of that wrong knowledge what is wrong knowledge i am the body i am mind i am the intellect i am sense organs taking the prakriti as one self is wrong knowledge that uh, is called mithya gnanam that wrong knowledge or mithya gnanam or erroneous perception is because of atma anatma viveka agnyanam so that agnyanam is the cause karanam mithya gnanam is the karyam product but what vedantin we say we say mula vidya is the cause mithya gnanam is the adhyasa erroneous perception is adhyasa it is a superimposition mula vidya is the cause and adhyasa is the product karyam it is our contention so mula vidya is the karanam creator producer of adhyasa adhyasa or superimposition rope snake rope snake example he also uses pura pakshi also use rope uh, agnyanam alone is the cause for rope snake mithya agnyanam that mithya agnyanam whatever he says we are using it as adhyasa rope snake is an adhyasa superimposition we say sankhya philosopher says it is mithya agnyanam example like that in the body mind complex is like a rope snake body mind complex identification is like a rope snake not knowing the purusha the rope like purusha okay for vedantin atma chaitanyam aham brahma asmi brahma gnanam is not there he is superimposing nama roopa on the brahma that is adhyasa therefore mula vidya we establish but uh, mula vidya means basic ignorance is not there this pura pakshi says there is one swami called sachidanandendra saraswati of karnataka 
um, he also doesn't accept mula vidya he pa he attained samadhi in 1970 it seems 1970 he wrote a commentary on naishkarma siddhi he wrote a commentary on naishkarma siddhi that is called klesha apaharini klesha apaharini another swami ji wrote a telugu commentary on that kannada commentary is available telugu commentary is available on that sachidanandendra saraswati's commentary of that is called klesha apaharini is a commentary on naishkarma siddhi so you are all fortunate you need not read all those commentaries but for teaching purpose we have to read that commentary very very tough to understand even telugu commentary because my mother tongue is telugu i read that commentary the toughest uh, language even telugu also the written by one other swami very good commentary it is available but uh, of whom klesha abharini of sachidanandendra saraswati who doesn't accept mula vidya therefore we have to be very careful when we read other commentaries what is uh, uh, his opinion about mula vidya means uh, mula vidya hai hi nahi he is not there he says but you see sureshwaracharya is going to establish mula vidya in 7th and 8th shlokas this paragraph where andar pura pakshi is uh, refuting another um agnyanam that is basic ignorance mula vidya in tattva bodha visa <coughs> karana shariram kim anadi avidya roopam satsvarupa agnyanam that mula vidya is basic ignorance where there is atma agnyanam that is our vedantins contention let us see what is this um, పూర్వపక్షి ఏకదేశి సేస్ సి సాంఖ్య ఫిలాసఫర్ ఏకదేశి వేదాంత ఏకదేశి ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ ఆర్ ఆస్తికాస్ దే యాక్సెప్ట్ వేద దే ఫోర్ దే టేక్ ఉపనిషత్స్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ హియర్ ది పూర్వపక్షి ఈజ్ కోటింగ్ చాందోగ్య ఉపనిషత్ ఫర్ హీస్ ఎక్స్ప్లనేషన్ వాట్ హీ సేస్ జ్ఞాత్మనా త్యాజయేత్ వచ ఇది ఉపశ్రుత్య ఆహా కశ్చిత్ కశ్చిత్ మీన్స్ వేదాంత ఏకదేశి పూర్వపక్షి ద జనరల్ పూర్వపక్షి ఎక్స్టెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ ప్రీవియస్ పూర్వపక్ష ఓన్లీ బట్ అనదర్ పూర్వపక్ష పర్సన్ ఈజ్ డిఫరెంట్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో after hearing our having heard upashrutya means having heard kashchit aha one puro pakshi like ekadeshi vedanta ekadeshi we say in vedantin also there are some group of people that's why they are called vedanta ekadeshi gnatmana tyajayet vachah gnatmana through mahavakya may you drop may you give up this Uh, anatma falsify the anatma come to reality leave the duality you are telling gnatmana chaitanya atma bodhena bodhanena tyajayet you are telling having heard our statement our statement means what we the advaitins so we are all sureshwaracharya's party okay here also there is a politics one sankhya party another is ekadeshi party another is advaitam party hmm? party means another one party group so having heard our statement in the sixth verse by sureshwara acharya what he is going to say mithya gnanam vyatirekena other than mithya gnanam other than erroneous perception or other than anatma abhimana roopa uh, mithya gnana you can take mithya gnana means anatma abhimana roopa mithya gnana ityarthah vetrekena 
other than that there is no vitrekena vitrekena atma anava bodha vitrekena dirgham so vitrekena plus atma anava bodha sy atma anava bodha sy abhavat abhavat kim so there is no any self ignorance atma anava bodha means self ignorance anava bodha means bodha means knowledge anava bodha means ignorance there is no any self ignorance atma anava bodha agnana abhavah atma anava bodha means atma agnanasya abhavat since it is not there abhava means absence since there is no any self ignorance as uh, uh, an entity a separate entity atma agnanam is not there abhavat kim vakyena what you are going to do this with vakya maha vakya atma ignar agnanam is there uh, other than mithya agnanam you can make use of maha vakya what your maha vakya can do when there is no self ignorance other than anatma anatma what anatma abhimana mithya agna i will put in full sentence anatma abhimana means uh, abhimana with the body mind complex that is uh, the vidya gnanam of sankhya philosopher said so other than anatma abhimana vidya gnanam there is no any other self ignorance if self ignorance is there alone you have to use make use of mahavakya who asks who is asking whom ekadesi puro pakshi is asking sureshwaracharya o oh, sureshwaracharya who is sureshwaracharya the author of this book the author of this book is advaita philosopher uh, disciple of adi shankara acharya so sureshwara acharya o oh, acharya you are talking about uh, mahavakya usage using mahavakya for the removal of self ignorance self ignorance such an entity is not there other than anatma mithya gnanam other than anatma mithya gna abhimana mithya gna anatma abhimana sharira mana buddhi abhimana mithya gnana erroneous knowledge other than that there is no self ignorance very very important statement that's why i said it is all very 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 important vakena kim mahavakena kim prayojanam nivartyate vakena nivartate kim can you remove that uh, non existent self ignorance by mahavakya hmm? nivartyate kim mahavakena hai hi nahi self ignorance is not there what is the job for this mahavakya there there is no job therefore agnyanam hi nama gnana abhavah agnyanam here means uh, mithya gnana mithya gnanam vyatirikta agnyanam is not there you have to supply mithya gnana vyatirikta agnyanam is not there agnyanam hi nama gnana abhavah my mithya gnanam what i am talking is because of agnyanam agnyanam means ignorance ignorance means what gnana abhavah absence of knowledge i am going very very slowly because these are all very terse portion i like i enjoy to teach all of you you also enjoy okay i cannot go fast because uh, you will get a uh, lot of uh, you know um, confusion if i go very fast that is why i am trying my best slowly agnyanam hi nama that puro pakshi continues my intention my 
in my view ajnanam is the cause for mithya jnanam i said ajnanam means jnana abhavah jnana abhavah means absence abhava means absence absence of knowledge absence of knowledge about purusha like rope snake rope jnana abhavah alone ignorance of knowledge of rope is not there jnana abhavah rajju jnana abhavah alone is ajnanam ajnanam of what ajnanam of rope ajnanam of rope is equal to rope snake appearance mithya jnanam rope snake is mithya jnanam erroneous perception erroneous perception mithya jnanam because of what rope ajnanam pura pakshi is telling here rope snake you have to, i am giving example so that you can understand the ashtanta according to him rope ajnanam alone is the cause for rope snake mithya jnanam rope snake knowledge is mithya jnanam rope snake rope snake knowledge is erroneous knowledge erroneous knowledge is because of ajnanam ajnanam of what rope ajnanam so rope ignorance is equal to rope ignorance is equal to absence of rope knowledge <laughs> what he says you see yeah? rope ignorance ajnanam is equal to rope ignorance is equal to what absence of rope knowledge gnana abhavah that is with example i am using these words otherwise you cannot understand what is this gnana abhavah absence of knowledge in example absence of knowledge of what rope the absence of knowledge of rope is called rope ignorance rope ignorance is leading to rope snake erroneous perception clear these words if you catch you can catch dashtanta easily tasya cha avastutvat avastu स्वाभाव्यात दैट अवस्तु इट इज नॉट देयर एब्सेंस बीइंग नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट एब्सेंस बीइंग नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट सो ज्ञान अभावः मींस व्हाट नॉन एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ नॉलेज एब्सेंस ऑफ नॉलेज अवस्तु इट इज नॉट देयर एब्सेंस स्वाभाव्यात बीइंग नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट एब्सेंस इज मींस व्हाट नॉन एग्जिस्टेंस अभाव मींस एब्सेंस एब्सेंस मींस व्हाट नॉन एग्जिस्टेंस नॉन एग्जिस्टेंस मींस व्हाट अभाव अभाव मींस व्हाट एब्सेंट ओके सो देयरफॉर सिंस तस्य तस्य मींस um that ignorance that ignorance uh, cannot uh, be be the cause of problem that means what uh, here uh, tasya atmana atma ajnanam self ignorance ignorance cannot be the cause of the problem erroneous perception alone is the cause of problem rope ignorance is not the cause of problem rope snake is the problem he is telling <laughs> like okay rope ignorance is not the cause of problem rope snake alone is causing fear he want to run away eh? rope ignorance is not the cause tasya chu avastu swabhavyat that ignorance cannot be the cause of problem but erroneous perception mithya gnanam alone is the cause of samsara that is what he says um, so, so what finally he says kutaha uh, samsara karanatvam where is the samsara karanam agnanam cannot be the samsara karanam uh, agnanam cannot be the samsara karanam purusha agnanam is not the samsara karanam prakriti sharira 
Abhimana is the samsara karanam. Carefully listen. I will repeat once again. Purusha Agnyanam according to Sankhya philosopher. This is the continuation but slight different. Uh, one point extra is adding. Uh, Purusha Agnyanam is not the cause. But Prakriti, Sharira, Mana, Abhimana, Mithya Agnyanam is the cause for samsara. Kutaha Karanatvam. When it is not there, that ignorance cannot be the cause. Rope Agnyanam is not the cause. Rope snake is the problem, cause for fear, etc. Like that, here also, Sarira Abhimana, Deha Abhimana, Mana Abhimana, Mithya Agnyanam alone is the Karanam, Samsara Karanam. But uh, Agnyanam is not the Karanam. Kutaha Samsara Karanatvam? Question mark. Now he quotes that Chandogya Upanishad. When it is absent, when it is not there, Jnana Abhavaha Nar. So Agnana means Jnana Abhavaha. He is taking Agnana as a neg um, negative entity. Abhava. So what we say, how can you take it as Abhava, as a negative entity? It is not Abhava, it is Bhava Padartha. It is a positive entity. He says, he takes uh, um, Agnana means uh, Gnana Abhavaha, Abhavarthi Nanj. <laughs> uh, Abhavarthi Nanj. But we take Virodharthi Nanj, Bhavartha. Na, nahi Asataha Sajjanma Ishyate. Kutastu Khalu Somya Evam Syat. The Chandogya Upanishad Uddha Alaka is telling to see how poor Paksh is using that statement here. Uddhalaka is telling to whom? Oh, time up. I will see more in the next class. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Oh.